rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. This is my third transfer this year. So you can remember how many times I've been relocated. I never get used to it. City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. Oh boy. Oh boy. I thought it's so all much I have of left. City 17 that I elected to establish all right, I'm moving. You the only ones on that train? Here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactor. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to well, That's enough of that. To City don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Stop that. Watch it, will you? No more. Cut it out. Dr. Breen again? I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. This is his base of operations. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining cities. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later.
Any reader now, for instance, in the trash can. Dear Dr. Green, All right. I have a comment. Seem fit to suppress our reproductive cycle. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing, concerned. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses, with all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken forces. starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. to a cop. He's one of us. I can't take it anymore. Attention, resident. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Get in here, quick! Keep moving! Head to the roof! Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. You better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. Funny you showing up on this day in particular.
We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab, through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Where did she get to? Uh-oh. Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my ship. But okay. Here we go. Ah, damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. <laughs> Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there! No, no! Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Rip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your H-E-B suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a holdup on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The massless field flux should self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to C1 base and LT orbifold, Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. 
Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your man, the freaking headhopper! Are you ready? No! Shut it down! Gordon, you must get out of here! Run! Get down out of sight! I'll come find you. 